Hello everybody, my name is Richard Hyperion, and welcome back to Crypt of the Forgotten Priest. I am playing as Rogar Yarjarit, Jordan is playing as Rise, Brayden is playing as Aaron, and Quinn is playing mm -hmm. as our favorite, uh, as our favorite character, Animo, from the Wilds of Wildmount campaign. And our lovely dungeon master for this dungeon crawl is Emily. Please take it away. You follow down the uh, the blood stained uh, the blood stained hall, uh, and you notice there's a slight change as you go down. Probably, you know, fifty feet down this hallway, uh, where the where the walls begin to uh, look a bit crumbly, a little bit disheveled. Um, are we going stealth-like, or are we going normal? Probably a little stealth. I kind of got the interpretation that we were going stealth. Yeah. Yep. Uh, we can, yeah. Okay. Yes. And I need stealth a group stealth. Dragonborn group can be. Stealth, stealth check. All right, let's go disadvantage on the stealth. Everybody I... run stealth. I cast Guidance on Rogar. Flaming light flickers off the shiny scales of the dragonborn as they walk forward, alerting Ooh, all to their D4, please. That's a 10. I got us. What? I rolled a 2? Okay, I rolled a natural good. 1. This is getting a little ridiculous. A natural Wait, 1? Yikes. Plus 1, so that's a 2 total. Yikes. 2 total. Okay, let's see if I can save it all with a natural 20, folks. That's right. That's a natural 20. <laughs> oh, like I said, the torch light just bounces off the shiny scales it, of the it dragon. It does. It does appear to be bouncing. Is you the guys... blood dried? Is somebody buzzing? Yeah, blood is dried. I hear that oh, too. Okay. So what is it? It's uh, uh, that's, that's that's Sam playing guitar above me. I can turn. It sounds like a phone vibrating. It sounds like a phone, yeah. Works. And remember, tell Sam that when he plays his guitar, <laughs> it sounds like a phone vibrating. <laughs> that just kind of gives me a rough idea of how quietly you guys are. Uh, are your phone yeah, thing. yeah. And Rogar, yeah. Rogar's taking walking. the lead and just kind of like keeps <laughs> out and trying to He's trying to be more like defensive and like battle ready <laughs> as opposed We're to uh, stealthy. So. What do you do? We walk, right. we triumphantly yeah, walk into the room. Yeah. That's just all. You do that. Please stop moving your tokens. Yep. Yeah. Sorry, it was very quick here, but you guys didn't give much of a. Yeah, uh... we can go back a few. <laughs> no, you're fine. Uh, with the. Uh... Uh, why is this not working? What the fuck? Do I have to do it manually? Oh my god. To do each one. Sorry, this is takes a little bit longer. Uh, what is this eight initiative? Okay. Basilisk? Hold on. Awesome. <clears throat> oh god as uh i need rise and rogar's uh initiative oh uh one sec sorry i and... was currently trying like calling out over to my cat because he's meowing for repeatedly for no reason 18 Ooh. hey it went in automatically Ooh. this time yeah. Ooh, those hey. initiatives it's that uh, fleet footed appearing um, just in your uh, just in your in your vision range. Uh, let's it's see. a snake. It's a big snake. Should Sorry, probably choked. have this already done, but I don't. Uh, okay. I'm not Aaron, a fucking lizard. Uh, cool. I will take a few steps forward 
So hopefully my light can catch it now. You can just uh, barely see it, but yes. There's clearly something there. Clearly something there. Okay. I would say, like, can you see that? Disadvantage. You can see it, you know it's there, you know where to hit, but it's disadvantage. It's in your okay. Yeah, because of how far it is. Yeah, yeah. I just like how hard it is to see it. Uh, I'm just reading something. Hmm. Yeah, I can't even tell it's a basilisk yet. <clears throat> yeah, that was that was kind of out of game knowledge. <laughs> my fault. How long? Oh, yeah. That's... How long okay. does my channel oh, divinity last? Isn't it like kind of permanent until I drop it? Or... I think it's an hour. Animo, can you see it? Probably. Yeah, an hour checks it. To be honest. That's chill. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah sensing something there. large hiding far behind, I prepared from the party. I, 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 I can see something. I can see scales, but I, I don't know if I would be able to know what it is. Scales still, oh, still kind of suck. Uh, take my staff out in front of me, slam it on the ground, and I am going to summon my Envoy of Protection in this square. Go ahead and draw shape. Cool. And then I need you to send that to chat as well. Uh, yes. I it's just on that one block. Fuck that is yeah. really fucking hard to see. How do uh, I... I got it. it. I'll fix that. You send it to chat. Uh, the gist of it is uh, all creatures of your choice, which would just be the four of us, um, again, plus one to their AC, and you have advantage on one saving throw of choice. Me making the envoy, um, I'm gonna do constitution. Okay. So, uh, very impression I see you. Plus one to everybody within 10 feet, which I do believe would be everybody but Rise. Mm. But Rise, once you enter that 10 foot range, it'll work, so yeah. You'll be able to get that. Um, and your choice is Constitution. Okay. Yep. Okay, anything else for your turn? Mm. That is all. Okay. Yeah, that's all. Um, I'm actually... Rogar. Yeah. Um... I think Rogar is going to step forward next to the envoy and uh, assume a defensive stance and take the dodge action. Okay. Let me mark you as oh having. Oh, I should probably describe what the envoy looks like. Yeah, that would actually. be great. Um, so you know Skyrim Storm Itronax? Any of you? No. Okay. Um, it's kind of like I uh, think of a Wait, stone are you golem. A ball. Huh? Never mind. Go ahead. The spider yeah. balls in Skyrim. Spider balls? Never mind. Oh, sure. <laughs> I think I know what you're talking about, but I don't. I'm using like the. Oh, it's an enemy thing you can summon. Whatever. Um, as, yeah. as Rogar runs it's... up to assume his uh, possession, he calls back to Aaron. This, is this thing capable of turning other people to stone? Well, you saw what was in the last room. You could take a good guess. Right. Mm. Defeat this thing. No more. No more fear of being turned to stone. Got it. Absolutely. That's what we should take away from this. Yeah. Okay. Rise. It is your turn. 
you see that your friends have assumed a battle stance near this, uh, uh, is it a robot? Um, it's like, it's the construct. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's like a, a lightning con- rock and rock, uh, Yeah, except instead of lightning, on. it's this kind of, like, golden radiance, uh, light instead oh, okay. of electricity, and the rocks are, uh, kind of like these pristine metal plates. Uh, okay. And then it kind of has like two arched glowing eyes, like kind of made out of that light as well. That just shine a bit brighter and appear to be eyes. Okay. Hell yeah. Wait, is this something you summoned or is this what we're fighting? That's why I summoned. The green squares. Oh, nice. You yeah, can't see square. what they're fighting. You can't, you don't, no. you have no idea what they're looking at. You this may get killer. me killed. But I want to try taking a flanking position by moving over here. Okay, now I can see. 20 feet? Uh, I will move out into the open. Okay. You can do that. And I will... Do I? Can I throw a dart? If you want to. Fuck yeah. Alright. I'm going to throw a dart you at it. your full action, bonus action, all that good shit. Yeah. Let's do that. Uh, so I just do this. Wow. Holy shit. Okay. Yeah, that hit. I got do a that crit, crit damage. Clean 20. I, how do I do crit damage? Uh, just click on the dart. Yeah, click dart. It, it should. It'll automatically do it if you click the one that is. You see, Crit. you see, you see in the chat it says dart and then plus oh, seven. Oh, okay. Click, click that. Oh, right. that. Aiming right for that dart. thing's eye. I fucking <laughs> throw the dart. When Look the in, dart hits your, your eye, eye, your eye, 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 eye. ow! <laughs> that cannot okay. be right. It is right because no, he rolls a d4 for dart d- damage. Yep. So he that's rolled a d4 plus 4, right? Because the 4 isn't crit, it's only the die. So he rolled 2d4 plus 1. Mm-hmm. Or plus hey. 2. He actually rolled 2 nat 1s on that. Or 2 Did. two ones for his damage die. A tragedy. It was, it was, <laughs> yeah, it was yeah, I d4s plus 4. I got snake eye. Ouch. Um... Oh. So, but it does take that that six damage. I and looking at it dart. now, I you can tell it's already injured. Oh! But it is now the basilisk's turn. The blood is so from the basilisk. the situation. Okay, they can't hear me. Can can I shout shout over to them? Yeah. 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 The blood from the other room is from the basilisk. It's fought a battle already. We can win this. All right. Uh, <laughs> it is going to It is going to go this way. Away from you, uh Rise. Whoa, and that's a basilisk right there, bud. That's the end <laughs> of its turn. <laughs> For yeah, an that's right. poker right there, bud. An ammo. Yes. I need you to roll me a Constitution saving throw. Nice. But it's it's my turn. I know. Oh. You have it's advantage, by the way. Leathery cunt right there, bud. You the don't you have advantage. Uh, yeah, you have advantage. I start. So you have advantage on this con save. Advantage. So I have advantage. Okay. Yep. With advantage. I roll a con saving throw. You succeed. Didn't even need okay. the advantage. It's your Didn't turn. Didn't need it. I, 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 okay. I'm thinking. Okay. Um. We can, uh, we can save the people in the other room if we take down this basilisk here. Basilisk here. Basiliski. Can I throw a great axe? Wait, no. Let's just let's calm down here. Um, I'm gonna throw a javelin. Okay. 
Adam. I didn't mean to do it with his advantage, I'm sorry. Okay, 23 hits. For 9 damage. Do I still have another? Oh, we didn't really talk. Yeah, we forgot to talk about that, didn't we? Um, yeah, since you're choosing to not use your multi-attack, yeah, you can throw two. That's not something you would normally get at this level anyway. Okay, I throw another javelin. Okay, 11. and 11 misses. Got hit! It missed. <laughs> Shit. Shit. Always. Shit. Um, your you see as you you, you throw the javelin, it kind of bounces off of its scale. Mhm. Mm Arlen, it is your turn. Um, I need you to make me a Constitution saving throw. Ar why do you keep saying Arlen? Aaron. I don't know yeah. why that's hard for me. Aaron. <laughs> Arlen, that's from something. A rain. <laughs> it's my boy, a rain. Okay. Uh, 14. A 14 succeeds. Oh, thank God. It is Rogar. It's your turn. Oh, does that just skip my turn or? Oh, excuse me. I apologize. No, it is your turn. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Confuse him uh, with seeing, your snake speech. Seeing the basilisk move that way, uh, I quickly. Oh, that's not the right thing. Quickly move over here to get a better look. And I, I'm i going to kind of point out with my staff, lift my staff into the air, and I'm going to create a wall blocking off this uh, entrance. I will draw it. So I'm allowed to kind of make them in whatever shape I want, like curved or something. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to, because it's three squares, that's going to be 15 feet. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this will be a second level spell slot taken for this. Uh, which means blocks off this, and then it's going to be about uh, 15 feet high as well. Okay, I'm, I'm just, just gonna I'm make gonna have it a little bit a little darker because mm -hmm. I did not see it. Oh yeah, that's my bad. Probably shouldn't have it there. Yeah. Um. Yeah, actually, yeah, it's just gonna go straight up. As well. Okay. And um. I don't think I have any bonus actions I can really do. Mm -hmm. Beneficial in my spells or anything. So that's my turn. Okay, Rogar, it's your turn. Rogar is going to roll his con saving throws. Okay. 18 saves. 18 saves. Um, is there any other of the maneuvers I want to try and do? I don't think so, no. Rogar is going to start running towards the basil basilisk, and as he gets right here, he is going to grab a hand axe and he's going to use the quick toss maneuver. As a bonus action, you can expend one superiority die and make a ranged attack with a weapon that has the thrown property, such as a hand axe. You can draw. Okay, the so you and... don't. So you don't want to go forward. Oh, okay. Otherwise, you do it at disadvantage. Oh, okay. So right there, yeah. So. At least, yeah, right there. Uh, you can make you can draw the weapon as part of making this attack. If you hit, add the superiority die to the weapon's damage roll. So I'm going to go ahead and roll for a hand axe attack. Uh, hand axe. Nineteen to hit. Nineteen. That hit. I'm going to roll the regular damage. Okay. Nine plus a d8. 11 total. Damn, I can't see the battle. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anything else for your turn with your action? Uh, the quick toss was a bonus action, so he's actually going to charge forward after that and attack with his hook sword. Hell yeah, do that. And he's going to slash across his tail. Ooh. 24 that's cool. hit. That's, that's a sick Ooh. combo. I like that. Five okay. damage, yeah. 
Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> 14 damage total on this thing. That's pretty good for a turn. That's pretty fucking Rise good. Rise would be very impressed. Okay. If he could, if he could Speaking see. Speaking of Rise, it's Rise's turn. Yeah. I oh, guess where did I'm... Rise go, guys? <laughs> where uh, did I go? Technically, I do believe... I yeah, can... you are not within vision range of this thing, so you do no. not have to make a save. Uh... But you can get with no. vision range. But I'm going to charge him. Uh, how many? Uh, uh, diagonally, feet. how much? How much space is that moving diagonally? One block from thirty another? feet. Oh, it's thirty feet to him. Okay. Yep. So I just I can dash right up to him and do a wombo combo. Hopefully, don't die. You don't need to dash, but yes, you can punch him at you to your heart's content. All right, maybe I will. Yeah, do it. I'm fused. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. I will. Freaking do a Lee Sin wombo combo on this guy. Flurry of blows. Let's go. Spinning bird kick with a couple of, uh, with an uppercut and then a flip kick and you know dive kick, bunch of kicks, flash kick. Uh, roll it. It's a Maki Senpukiaku. <laughs> Go ahead and roll that dice. Uh, what the fuck? Unarmed strike, right? Yeah. Do I roll anything special for? Flurry of blood. No, it's just extra no, just action. Do it again. All right, first one doesn't do it. Nope. Flurry of blows. Oh Second no! One that one do doesn't do it. Oh my uh, god! Wow. I should not, not have it. focused on you... such fancy blows. Oh my yeah. god! You remember? You still do um, remove that from your um, your pool. Hey. I do want to make a point. Your key point. Um. But, I'm sorry, Jordan. That is the most unlucky I've ever that seen. Oh, so fucking lucky! <laughs> that is so horrible. Not even Faith rolls that bad. No, no fatal, fatal okay, flaw, if, my if, if, if you had physical dice right now, I'd ask you to throw those away. <laughs> um, <laughs> but there's a one in four hundred chance of it happening. So, not not that unlikely. Um, nasty. tell me how, what happens to make, I'm just curious, what, well, describe to me what happens. I tried to do some spinning kicks and I flip my first blow to glances off the, off the, the fucking, the scale and my spinning kicks miss completely and end up falling face first into his scales pretty oh. much. Based off them. of that, I am going to knock you prone, which means it takes uh, half your movement to stand up. That's fair. I mean, I got three. Oh, I got two God. nat ones and a fucking two, man. It, yeah, you're you're jumping after, through. right? You're just giving the best list a little hug. All right. You know what I yeah, think, I think guys? Hug. I think I picked up some uh, of that blood on my shoes. Turn. While you're down, ran by. it <laughs> is going to uh, bite you with a. Um, While you're down? Attacks. Oh, excuse me. Who was that yeah. against? Well, it's not two bite attacks. Anyway, uh, with two bite attacks, uh, technically they have advantage. Because uh, he's so prone? Because you're prone? Yeah, just do it to him. So Why not? 24 oh. and a 20 both hit for uh, 11 piercing damage plus 11 poison damage. And I was wrong. It's actually only one. I apologize. I can hide that. I just looked at the rules. Technically, it's only one attack. Jesus. But yeah, you take. Um, is, so is the red box damage? Uh, uh, no, it's the green box. So okay, so that's you, your health. You, so just hold on subscribe. one second. Just uh, so I know where you're at. If you click your character token, uh, bubbles appear around it. You got if it. If you yeah. select the green one and type minus twenty two, it'll automatically do it for you. Oh, I just I just typed what my health was, and it did the. That the, the also, and also, when you do that, it should update in your character sheet as well when you open it. Now, the 11 poison, what does that mean? It means I'll take it's it again. It can't oh, be saved it... against, it's just 
11 poison damage. Okay. And it's a re re reoccurring per turn? No. Okay. No. You're not poisoned, yeah, you've just been damaged by poison. By poison, exactly. Wait, uh, wait, sorry. Never mind. This ain't Harry it, Potter it, rules. Um, it is a name of I look turn. out towards my teammate. 30 feet, so I need you to make a constitution saving throw with uh, advantage. Because you're within the five feet. If this, if this doesn't work... What? Me oh, I have to do a constitution? Okay. No, no, you no. don't. It's only at the start of your turn when you start okay. within this case. And then I say, You really gonna bite this? You, you, I don't bite my, my friends! And then I rage, and I go up, and I... Don't touch uh, me! And, no. I, and I claw attack. Now okay. if this hits... Yes! It does hit! Are you knocking it prone? Oh, yeah. Supposedly, I'm knocking it prone. You are. I, yeah, you're knocking it prone. Wild, uh, but yeah, I'm knocking it prone, and I do eleven damage, and then using my bite attack and my death grip because I'm gonna do that, which is okay. probably a bad That'll idea. To be honest, yeah. But why not? Try it. Bite. Sixteen to hit. Nope. Oh. You. Fucking wait, 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 yeah. If I were to expend my six hero points and give him three, would that be enough? Yes, I'm going to do that. Oh, I that that would be enough. Okay, so that's a 19 to hit. Okay, he is. Death gripped. And that's another yeah. 11 damage. <clears throat> oh, yeah! Let me... I, I would say it's probably this. It's not stun. Ignore that. I can turn that off. Uh, but I just like... I think that the fist makes sense. Um, so another 11 Ooh, damage. Don't you dare bite my friend! And then I bite him. Okay. Um... Wonderful! It's Arlen's turn. Oh, again, Arlen. <laughs> it's, Aaron. it's Aaron. It's Aaron's turn. Uh, Aaron is going to move up to. Oh, that's not the right thing. I'm going to move up to this square. Praise Animo, rescue mm. me from my stupidity. Hmm. You are nothing stupid. I. <laughs> Stab my uh, plant my staff into the ground in front of me, and this kind of light at the base of it kind of holds it upright. Oh, Arlen, by I'm... the way, I need you to make a constitution. Aaron, yeah, Aaron, by Aaron, and now I'm to the point where I'm just gonna continue to do it because I've said it too many Every times. Every time you say Arlen, yeah. I think of Arlen from King of that's the Hill. That's an 18. Arlen, Texas. It's a that's a what? 18. 18? 18, 16. Texas. Okay, um, and as I Take my hand away from my staff. Uh, this glowing energy kind of just like follows, swirling around my hand. And with a bit of strain, I reached into the air and uh, all around me, these small little like golden fairies form and just kind of start flying around and fucking got, uh, vibing. And basically, I cast Spirit Guardians. Hell yeah. Yeah. And That's uh, the party is going to be unaffected by this, the four of us. The basilisk, however, uh, immediately its speed is halved, so long as it is within uh, 15 feet of me. And I also need it to make a wisdom saving throw. Okay. Uh, I, I will say, if it if it goes out with damage, I'm doing ongoing damage to it right now. Yeah. Uh, you said it's a what what throw? Uh, wisdom. Wisdom. It's not great at wisdom, but it does crit. So Fuck. it is. Okay, it still damage. takes half. So. And that doesn't count in Great. terms of ones and twenties because it's not our roll. Mm -hmm. So I do believe it is uh, Rogar's turn. 
Pretty. No, Wait, no, I still no. have to. Yeah, never mind. I still, like, I roll the 3d8 and I just half the value, right? Yeah. Do we round up or down in this campaign? Um, it's to the benefit of the attacker. The attacker? So, yeah, so you would 13 roll up. aft will be 7. 7? Yes. 7 radiant damage. Okay, it takes that. It's looking a little rough. Um, Rogar, um, it's your turn. As... If it's an advantage of the attacker, wouldn't it Isn't be it? 8? No. Well, no, because it's 13. 13 divided by 2 rounded down to 6. 14 seven. divided by 2 is... 13. Just, 1, 3. Just for context. Oh, 1, 3. I think 15. I'm sorry. Where is animal yeah. position on the basilisk? Where I am. <laughs> yeah, describe it. Um, well, I kind of assumed that the basilisk had not... Well, if they just bit, then I would probably kind of close to the neck... Hell yeah. Area, well, I mean, it's all neck, but you know, you know, <laughs> where there's no longer a jaw. Yeah. Uh, Anna, uh, Animo and Rise are outside of the uh, protection envoy. Correct. They yes. are. Um, Rogar is gonna, like, I imagine the, uh, the Basilisk is, is kind of like writhing and like has its uh, head craned upward in pain. And Rogar is going to uh -huh. come along and like do two hook sword attacks, swinging upward into its jaw. Okay. Oof. A twelve misses, and so does a seven. Fuck. Well, shit. Uh, do I need to roll something for the critical miss? No, no. That's not this game. Okay. Um, uh, but you can tell me what happens. Um, the first one, like, he goes to swing upward, and then, and just like the first blow of, of Rise, it just kind of glances off his scales, and I wasn't prepared for it, and it uh, knocks me off balance as I swing upward with the second sword, and I just completely whiff, and I end up falling flat on my back. Oh, you're growing prone too. Okay. It makes sense. I'm like, uh, swinging upward is a lot nope. of momentum and force, and it it probably just one. threw me off of my feet. Okay. Um, speaking of being prone, rise. It's your turn. Constitution saving throw. Yep. All right, that's the first thing. Oh, uh, characters. I'm sorry. I'm all the way scrolled down. Looking at my abilities. A thirteen. I think it beats it. Yeah, isn't it DC twelve? As it fucking turns yeah. to me to the stone, I managed to say managed to reflect on my actions. Why would I give away my an advantageous position for a rush attack. I just hope that you guys can continue Rise, on without me. Stone. What? Yeah, 15. It's, no, it, it's 12. It, no, the DC is 12. You're fine. fine. Oh. Yeah, you're good. <laughs> yeah. Will you just get I, up and go attack him? Okay. <laughs> you hear this? You hear the speech? Stone. You hear the speech? It's like. Ah. I can Carry feel it on. coming. You have to continue I'm, on without us. Dude, I'm just turning get up. Down. <laughs> get on no. with it. Alan, Aaron's like, shut up, you're fine. You're fine, fine. <laughs> you're fine literally. <laughs> okay, so you use your movement to stand up. All right. What do you do now? Um, I... I'm going to um, use wholeness of body to heal myself. Hell yes. Uh, you can regain hit points equal to three times your monk level. I love that ability. Uh, yeah. Your monk level is six. Six, so I'm Healing almost all hell. Yep. Yeah, heal 18. 
Back to 52. Anything with your bonus action? Uh, yeah. What? I haven't been keeping track of my key. I guess oh. I used... You've used three of it. Three of it? Right? Okay, so no, two three of it. left. Two of it? You've used two of it. Okay. Um... I could... I don't have... I don't necessarily have aggro right now. Now do I? There's no way to know that. Well, yeah, you can't necessarily tell, but right now you see an ammo biting this guy's neck. Okay. Yeah, it's gonna be more worried about... Ammo. I could have used. F no. Okay. Uh. Sorry. I'm still learning the monk. That's all right. Can do. No, I can't do that. I can use extra attack, right? Even though I I, I don't have an attack, but I can still use extra attack. Because I use my action to heal, but then I I do. So, if you Can get I another attack, no. you can't do it, because you have to have attack first. Okay. Okay. So then, I will just use, if I can, still not sure. <laughs> As a monk, if you wanted to use a bonus action and a key point, you could always take a dodge action or something else. Use patient defense, right? Yeah, that's Take the one. Take a action and a bonus action on on your turn. Okay, yeah, I'll use patient defense. Okay. I'll take a look. A key so point. you are dodging. You are actually no longer dodging. I should make that very clear. Um. And the, wait, the a question. Sorry. Uh, the patient def the it says. As a bonus action on... Okay, no, sorry. No, nothing. That's it. That's my turn. Okay. So it's the Basilisk's turn. Um, it is currently being being bit by the neck, dangling off. Um, and it is it is pretty angry. Um, it is going to make an attack on um, uh, Rogar. Mm -hmm. um, it doesn't... Uh, being in the Death Grip doesn't actually... Stop it from attacking. Stop you? I, yeah. Yeah, it just... Especially just... its size. I get it. Uh-huh. Uh... Then... Um... But it can't move. But yes, it's going to attack. Sorry. Got myself all yeah. distracted. Bring it on. Uh, it does have advantage since you're prone, and that's a 21. Ah, uh, even if I did... Uh, yeah, that hits. You won't be bitten, Hodge. Yeah. It, it hits. Um, so you take uh, 11 piercing damage and 7 Wait, poison. for... Oh, who's this attack? Rogar. Rogar. Rogar? Okay. Um, I'm going to have my envoy use its reaction to uh, receive that attack instead. Okay. Tell me what this looks like. So, okay, it's... You can send it in chat again, too. I definitely would not mind. Cool. It's resistant to all damage except necrotic, and it can use its reaction to make itself the target of an attack made against a friendly creature within 10 feet of it. Does that switch places? No. It just it just takes the damage instead. Okay, tell, me, tell me what that looks like. Okay. Um... The the envoy glows a bit brighter, and this this radiant energy kind of sweeps across the floor before uh, uh, before Rogar, and quickly uh, flies up and envelops him briefly as the basilisk attacks him, and then it recedes. Cool. Okay. So it's kind of just like this. A uh, bright shield, like shielding aura. And how much damage did he take? Um, took nine. Took nine? Yeah, well, because 18 halved. Yeah, 18 halved. Okay, okay. You just see, like, one of the plates around the envoy 
kind of just crumble and fall to the ground. Just one of the plates. Okay. Um, with that, it's a Nameo's turn. Okay. Um. It takes that, uh. Three plus. Hmm. I don't know about the tier thing. I don't know if I can do but it. Yeah, because you decided not, because when we did it last time, we didn't spec into that again. You can spec into it again to get another, another tier of death grip, basically. So then okay. it would be six plus strength modifier. But right now it's just three plus It's just three plus four. So seven damage for me doing nothing. Okay. Uh, what did we discuss I'm, discuss I'm able to do during death grip? Uh, claw attacks. Then I'm going to do a claw attack. Okay. Damn. Okay, 25 hits damage. for 13 damage. It's looking pretty I rough. Can't twice. I'm already you can't good. fight it. Yeah, because you're gripping, right? Yeah. Uh, the unarmed monk is wishing he but had. But it is guaranteed, armed. like, you don't ever have to hit. It's just hits, right? Which yeah. is the benefit of it. Um, And it's grappled. <laughs> uh, well. I believe that that would be the end of your turn. Okay, then it is uh, Aaron's turn. Cool. Uh, I'm going to uh, need... Constitution saves. Yep, quick con save. That is a 13. I'm chilling. A 13 I... does succeed. Also, if you don't mind, um, Quinn, I forgot to have you roll a con save. Advantage. Go ahead. Uh... He's not in No, you don't have advantage. I excuse me. Yeah. So I would have failed. So you did fail. No, but I would have. So what happens now? Um, I haven't even been able to do that entire turn. Let me resend this chat. You are restrained. So you would have to um okay so you are you are restrained you're slowly starting to turn to stone and no that would not have hit but we're gonna leave it as is because i already did damage i don't want to undo that but he is no longer grappled and you are restrained. Mm, i'm turning to stone it doesn't say anything about me not grappling him he's got a stone because restrained right I could also argue that technically, since I'm biting its neck, I don't know how it can look at me. Yeah? Yeah, it... Uh... So give me something. I here. mean, I mean... <laughs> yeah, no, he's right. But I think you it's a know, good... If, if the two of them can see each other, you can see it, it can see but you. It can, it can make an attack it, against you. Animal can you have a body. Basilisk, but the basilisk cannot see animal. I'm gonna give it to you since I don't want to fuck with it, but I don't necessarily know if that's how it would be ruled. Because you have a body. Okay, fine. I'm turning to stone. I'm turning to stone. I have to reroll next. Time. No, no, it's okay. I'm gonna leave no, it. No, I'll no. I'll just take the damage. I'll just take the damage. Literally, I'll just take the damage. I'm totally all right with that. There is no damage. From the, that's not what I'm saying. Like I am turning to stone. I'll take the fact that you gave me the damage, despite the fact that I shouldn't have been able to get the damage. So I'll stop arguing it. Okay. Okay. Cool. That seems more fair, anyway. Uh, Aaron. Uh, I'm gonna need the basilisk to roll a wisdom save for me. Okay. We just. Oh yeah, we forgot about that too. Is there a way? Why isn't it obvious? So stupid. I don't know what I did to make that happen. Wisdom save? Yep. What does it look like yeah. when you're playing as a monster? Going from... uh, so we'll take some damage that will roll in a bit. I'll probably roll damage just in total because I still have my action. Um, if I move here, do I have a clear shot at the basilisk? Let me see. Yeah. Considering the rebel. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm going to make a ranged spell attack. Uh, casting Guiding Bolt. 
Uh, that is an 18 to hit. 18 does just hit. Okay, so I'm going to roll my damage. First from the radiant. Four. Two. Four. Three. Four. Three. Four. Be right back. Eleven. Actually, no, I won't be. Fifteen. Wait till my turn's done. Nineteen. Uh, where, 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 where? Math. Nineteen plus fourteen. You is, dog petrifying is thirty-two. Thirty, no, thirty-three. Okay. That is thirty-three radiant damage. Thirty-three. As the um, as the little golden uh, bright kind of like fairies uh, keep like just dancing around it, kind of barely there, bashing it every now and then, and then I kind of like breathe into the crystal, uh, like. Yeah, blow on the crystal on the end of my staff. It starts glowing this bright yellow, and I point it at the basilisk, and this uh, this beam of light launches and collides against the side of the basilisk. Okay. Um, you see that uh, that blow really hurt the basilisk, and it uh, looks like it's on death's door. Epic. That will be my turn. Okay. Rogar's turn. Rogar is going to roll over to get himself uh, and push himself back up onto his feet. He's going to run up to the basilisk and he's going to... He's going to like... He's going to have a look of uh, slight annoyance on him as he kind of like struts up to the basilisk and... uh, Firmly plants his feet and tries again for an upward swinging hook sword attack. Okay. Go ahead and roll the hit. 20. Uh, 20 hit. You have advantage, actually. Sorry. Everyone has advantage against the Basilisk to hit for uh, until the end of my next turn. Okay. Uh, I'll roll it then to see if I get a grit, I guess. Which I don't. Uh, the first damage, 6. Okay. How do you want to do this? Oh, he said. Um. I said he was on death's door. Well, <laughs> still, that could mean a number of different things. This is a big fucking monster, anyway. Um. As Rogar swings upward into the basilisk's jaw, you can just hear this resounding crack as his uh, as the bone kind of like just just splinters a little bit, and. The like the bot like his jaw slams up into the roof of his mouth, and he just like his head slumps down hard onto the floor, and his I'm guessing those are uh, glowing blue eyes just close and go dark. Okay. Oh, fuck. Um, what do I do? You I must train need harder. It. To, uh, I believe, make another constitution saving. I will... Oh, wait, nope, the bat, nope, wait, hold on. If and the basilisk is dead, yep. what happens? Um, it's, it, it's still continuing. You're basically, uh, you already failed originally, so you can try to succeed again. It's basically a delayed turn, so... Uh, I'm going to, like, it... But yeah, you, you still, uh, yes, constitution saving through. Can I cast guidance on him for that? If I run up behind him. You technically, I don't think it was your turn. Oh, is it combat over? It was turn in turn. It would be technically in six seconds, right? Oh, so, okay. That's true. That's true. That's true. Uh, unless Rise has anything that he can do to um, to help him, he is just doing this one. So. Uh, Fourteen. I have. Please. Awesome. Only things so, I can use. It's okay. On I already, I already succeeded. Don't worry about it. You, um, you push down, so you feel your muscles and your joints begin to stiffen, like and you can't quite move, but you just, through sheer willpower, uh, 
are able to continue to push the next step and move your body. And despite all of the uh, the creaking and groaning that your that uh, your bones and joints are doing, uh, you're able to push through and uh, not be turned to stone. Sick. Ooh. Sick. Everyone, all right? Besides yeah. landing on the floor like it did just a moment ago, everything else is fine. <sighs> Rice, Animo, are you two okay? I must train harder and be more aware of my surroundings so that does not happen again. But yes, we are quite I'm glad we made it through. Kinda... Rise, I thought you did quite well. I'm, I'm surprised that you're giving yourself such little credit. No, I should have definitely... Not rushed in through the thick pool of blood when I had an advantageous position from afar. Yes. Well, we're all still here, and I'll count that as more than good enough. An opportunity to learn from our mistakes. I kind of just like reach my uh, my kind of left arm, out and mage hand comes forward, and I kind of poke at the basilisk as a move. It does not move. Okay. Can we and I make drop it bangs? all my spells. Mage hand dissipates. I the would love kind of dissipates in smoke. Uh, the envoy crumples into dust, and so does the wall that I created. If I look into this dead basilisk side, do you think that'll start to start to turn into a into a statue again? Or should have turning into it. stone before finishing a sentence. <laughs> would I know? If can I like cut out the eyes to <laughs> sell? <laughs> well, that that was my question. Was if I oh, that's true. and then tried to like fucking, you know what I'm saying? What would um, happen? Yeah, so you try to look into its eyes and you do not feel any of the effect. Okay. But I'm going for its fangs. We can talk about looting the bass looks next time. Okay. Woohoo! That was a fun. That was a fun very, boss very fight. That was a yeah. fun, guys. <laughs> that was that was awesome. Thank I you all so much for joining fun. this video on YouTube. Yeah. I did cut the uh, stream on Twitch short because uh, of internet issues, but whatever, we're fine. Um, but otherwise, thank you all so much for watching. For those of you on YouTube that are watching, drop a like if you like this video. If you want to provide any feedback, uh, leave a comment down below. Even if it's criticism, I'm always open to it. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more content. There's going to be more of the Crypt of the Forgotten Priest coming in the future, as well as Wild of Wild Mounts. Um, and I have some projects that will be coming in the f in the future as well. I'm going to be working on another Wild Mount uh, Funny Moments compilation soon. <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah. Otherwise, check the... The link in the description below to go to my Twitch channel and uh, follow there if you want to come and watch me stream live. Otherwise, with that, I hope you all have a lovely evening. We'll see you in the next video.